<laughs> Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing? It is Mesh Yourself here. We are back in again with L.A. Noir, baby. The story is continuing on. All right, Cole Phelps. All right, he's just solving all the damn crimes in Los Angeles, guys. Bro, the naked? 187 at 5810 huh? Murata 10, Avenue. 10,000 likes. I'll up on the next episode, there. guys. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. Okay, all right. Yeah, why has he got to be so mean? All right, God damn it! all right. I'm doing all the, I'm doing the best job I can. I can. We are going to go to a new body, okay? A new body was found and is linked to drugs, I think. Oh, we're at the murder scene at 2.22 2, 2 p.m. Damn, that's kind of scary. 2.22. 2, 2. Oh, what's this? Oh, morphine? Bukowski. You made homicide. That I did. Oh, he got promoted. Good to see you, Phelps. Oh, yeah. You two want a hug? Or can we My get two on? partners are now working together Relax, as Rusty. partners. Cool. Rusty and... 26 this guy. years old, fashion <laughs> model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynolds. Ooh. She called it in. We heard Carruthers think... Carruthers so. likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. <laughs> Here, 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 here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Oh, it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Yeah, right come ahead. on. Let me have a look, okay? See if there's any. Oh, look. Oh, the girl. Oh, she died in the found. shower? We've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down oh. here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. Oh. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam Whoa. is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Whoa. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Okay, that's really interesting. So maybe it's a murder, who knows? Damn, poor girl. Take a closer look at her head and uh, neck. Her neck is bruised pretty her bad. Her neck is bruised. Maybe she was strangled. What's this stuff on her arms? Bruising on the forearms and these look like yeah, bite marks. Yeah, someone's been biting her. Very, Ugh. Very unusual ring. Ooh. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black, a black sapphire. Black sapphire. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine. Ooh. And the bruises tell their own story. She has morphine. I think one man held her down and another held her arm and injected oh. her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as oh. drowning. Spread a trail of barbiturates. She was drunk. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Sorettes. It would make my theory. The morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Ooh. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Sorettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto Ooh. something. Okay, so she was drugged and then killed. Oh my god, poor girl. Oh, pills on the floor. Damn, that could be useful evidence. Who knows? Painkiller? Damn, I hate getting a headache, guys. And then I take a painkiller and then I feel a lot better. Uh, hashtag relatable, right? Anyway, uh... All the English smoking jackets. Oh, a nice jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Wow, okay, why is this useful? Oh, what's this? Oh, Barbiturates. more pills. Sleeping pills. Just rattling around in this thing. Oh. Oh, look. <gasps> oh. We should speak to her doctor. Oh, it's her doctor. Probably both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Whoa. Okay, so maybe we should speak to her doctor to find out more about her. Oh, this was her. Been a modeling assignment. Oh, a modeling job. Ah, and that's why she framed it. Oh. Okay, we have an address of where to go. Keep me company. Uh. I'm Detective oh. Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Is this her mum? Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson. I'm just oh. so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. <laughs> Calm down, We can girl. make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be yeah. notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Uh, someone has to set her affairs uh, in order. Uh, Mr. Henderson, maybe? <laughs> Why don't you do it? <laughs> Is this the neighbor? Know. I think it's the neighbor. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Okay, so we've got to interview her for some reason. Okay, she wouldn't lie to me, right? She's just some concerned old woman. She would tell me the truth, right? Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. <laughs> okay, well, I thought she was going to be truthful. <laughs> but then I know all about her sleeping pills and her drugs and stuff. What are you hiding here, Mrs. So, Frenson? So, it looks like... Yeah, come on now. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. But what about, about her sleeping pills? You had, you had no idea. It wasn't morphine because she was drugged about morphine. She didn't take morphine. But she has like all these prescriptions. Look, look at this. Benzedrine. Look, and she had sleeping pills for tr depression. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her oh. room. You've seen the pillbox. The things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Damn. Always new clothes and jewelry. Whoa. She lived like a movie star. A princess. Ah. Does modeling really pay <laughs> I don't know. It depends who you're modeling for, I guess. I don't have many friends, is it? Oh. I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Then who are you? Why? Who, who even are you? Okay, I, I think. Um, Did Miss Randall uh, have she's many lying friends? To me, is it? Because I'm not sure. I found I a, ma a man's a jacket in the. Um, Why are you lying in to the me, bedroom, Mrs. Reynoldson? Yeah. Julia had men stay here. Yeah. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. Damn, I can't prove that. Uh, well, what about this jacket? Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales. You understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. Oh. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Ugh. Old Where man? Where would you find him? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. San Francisco? This is... I, I'm not going all that all the way just to catch this guy. What was it like? Oh, what she's the try? maid or something? Perfectly fine, officer. Perfectly fine, officer. <laughs> well, that's not the truth, is it? So I gotta be a doubter. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Oh. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn, damn. quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get Whoa. it. Whoa. Not the way it's turned out. Not the way it's turned out. Her being dead Thanks, Mrs. <laughs> in the bathroom. You've been very helpful. Anyway. One of the other detectives will take your statement. Yeah, go home, go bitch. Home. All right, you don't have a job anymore I because she's dead. I think our work is done here. Okay, all right, job, our work is done. All right, let's go. Stefan, Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up yeah. these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? Run down the jacket? Damn, look at me telling them what to do. Hell yeah, let's go, Cole. So, I think our first place that we need to go to is um, her doctor's place because <laughs> she's been giving them all this uh, damn pills and stuff. <laughs> and I don't even know why he's been doing it. And maybe he likes I don't know. Oh, the yes, doctor's sir, office. Name? My name? LAPD. LAPD. <laughs> You'd like to see Dr. Stone. I love how I always start with Dr. LAPD. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No. Wait? We wouldn't. Oh. Tell him we want to see him now. Now. There's no need to be rude. Listen, Save it, bitch. sister. Dr. Stoneman, I Save have it, some sister. gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Oh. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Damn. Oh. Oh, who's this guy? Yeah, sorry, Dr. Stoneman, we're more important. We're investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. Damn. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor patient privilege, detective. What? I don't give a shit about that. What's your relationship with her? How well did you know Ms. Randall? Come on, don't lie. Little. Uh, what? She'd only been a patient six months or so. But I know about the pills line. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. Whoa. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Veracity? Do you have access to my patient records? Do you have access to my patient records? Uh, no, but we did find the prescription which said over a year ago. There you go. The prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Yeah, doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. Yeah, so? She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. Damn. I, I told her to slow up. Slow up? No. What? What does that mean? Life was too short for her. Oh, and you supplied and the prescription gone. for the Benzedrine. Yeah, why? It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. Weight loss? Uh, okay, but what about this shit? You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. Yeah. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. <laughs> Come on, we need to be pushing more. <laughs> Benzedrine is addictive. Yeah, it As addictive. I'm sure you know, doctor. Doctor. As I warned her. But she was determined. Damn. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew Damn. her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. Poor girl having <laughs> to be for now, Dr. Stone, watch her weight that badly. Who cares? You know, just eat whatever you want. So our only other lead is this dress store for some reason. 
Uh, she was wearing this dress. I have no idea. Okay, let's let's just talk to someone. LAPD, LAPD ma'am. Ma I hope I haven't done anything wrong. Yes, you're under arrest. No, ma'am. We're making some um, inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? Oh, she no, works No, I here. had to let her go. Why? Is she in some sort of trouble? I'm afraid she's dead. She was dead. found dead this morning. Ah, oh, bruh. Just because you fired her. <laughs> Maybe if you didn't fire her, she would still be alive, huh? How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. Damn. She was a very beautiful girl. Okay, that seems very truthful. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Um, husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. Oh. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. Oh. The wives weren't happy and neither was I. Oh, <laughs> damn. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Heather Would you Swanson. Like to speak with her? Yes. I'd like that very Where much. is she? Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Yes. Very well, officer. Yeah, yeah. Heather, these gentlemen. Oh, are this from is the her LAPD. friend. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Damn. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson. Yes. Julia helped me get my job oh. here. She's not in any kind of trouble. Oh. She lives a fast life. Oh no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. Oh. She's full of life. <laughs> Wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like Ooh. it? Henry gave Henry? it to me. Henry! interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? <laughs> what a weird question. <laughs> He's like, yeah, can I? I'm very interested in your ring. Let me look at it. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks for letting me look at it. That's some pearl. It's a Mr. pearl. Oh. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. Damn. Yeah, have it back now. I don't want any more. Anyway, oh, we got to talk to her now. How did you meet Julia? All right, don't lie. I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. Okay, all right, that's, that seems truthful. Why would I? Why would Henry she lie? Tell us about him. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. Fashion? He and Julia have been friends for years. Okay. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Who's he? All right, so she's being honest. She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to oh. her. Oh. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. Okay, so she... All right. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Oh. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these Damn. questions. Damn, should we tell her? Julia Randall was found dead this morning. Ah, uh, <laughs> bruh. Oh. oh no! Oh, I can't believe it. Damn. She was so full of she life. She was so full of life. Ah, oh. so full of life, and now all full of nothing because <laughs> she's dead. So, uh, we have to head to the hospital because the autopsy has been complete. Maybe this might give us some more information about the crime. Bruising confirms two sets oh. of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your Damn. theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to Murder. show. Murder. All right, Mal, what What's gives? this? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two Damn. by Damn. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Whoa. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening now. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his Whoa. face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Whoa. ramble. Whoa! So you're saying laughing boy here could be one of our killers? Whoa. That's a hell of a, long, a shot. long shot. Thanks, Mal. But we'll maybe. I found something else. Maybe we're just looking for one more clue. Ah, oh, shit. So this guy maybe could have been the man that killed her. Uh, but what else do you find? Oh, what is this? A harmonica? Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Okay, why is that interesting? All right, whatever. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two oh, for you next Henry. door. Oh, Henry. Let me know how you get on. Oh, sure, okay, yeah, you. that's the guy that sure, uh, was mentioned. For the let's, let's interview him. Mr. Arnett. Here he is. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about you. Ah, oh, bruh. How well did yeah. you know Julia Don't. Randall? Vaguely. Vaguely? 
I'm in the clothing business and Julia occasionally. Nah, 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 nah. I don't believe him. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck on the shoulder fraternity Ooh. kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. <laughs> polite. Answer the question. <laughs> this will remain private. <laughs> Heather won't have to. Oh, know. his wife doesn't even know. Yes. We have oh, bruh. His wife doesn't even know that uh, he was banging her best friend. Wow. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an yeah. old man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Uh, okay, so I know he's lying. Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm yeah. talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. You don't know his full name? I think he's from New York or someplace but back But didn't the, uh, the, uh, the housekeeper tell me that uh, Mr. Henderson's living in... That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. She thought she could get something from this guy. She was wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy it for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Okay. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. What? Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Nah, nah, he's is, bullshitting is he an entertainer me. Or something? Shut the hell up, dude. Be a, be a, doubt him. So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? Oh. Hey, if this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved, but... Like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. Uh-huh. That's right. What kind of fashion? Oh, oh nice. He has his own car. Director. Kind of traveling yeah. salesman? Once I got out of the core, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. Damn. The fighting Sixth. You were in the Sixth Marines? Yes. Sixth Marines. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Damn. Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been Damn. very helpful. I've been in the army too, bitch. I was in everything. I think he was lying, That though. son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Yeah, yeah. Why'd you let him off he the hook? He was lying, yeah. I felt no, like he was lying. We're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Oh. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Damn, maybe he knows more. Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Ooh. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Oh damn, Cole is such a good cop, man. He knows everything. Look at this guy. Where did he stop to? Man. Oh, he's buying some stuff. Or maybe was that a pawn shop actually? Damn, what is this place? He needs money and fast. He needs money? Oh, he's got lots of money. Get in there and find out what he you pawned want. something. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Whoa. Too much slack. So, do we arrest him? Oh. <gasps> what is this? He's, he's booking a vacation somewhere? No. What's he doing here? He's trying to leave town. That's right, Mexico City. <gasps> He's one trying to leave town. Next to Bill. He's going to Mexico. That would be one day from now. Is one that okay? day. It's going to have to be. Damn. He's getting a ticket out of here tomorrow. That's how he wants to get out of it. LAPD. LAPD. just came in here. He bought a ticket? Yes, sir. To Mexico City. Tomorrow Whoa. night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. Whoa. Shit. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City tomorrow night. Whoa. That's good. But this is better. Oh, what's this? What's the pawn? Oh my God. It's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand uh, it over. Damn. Uh, what the shit? Why are these guys running away? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what are we doing right now? <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? Come on, do I shoot him or do I not shoot him? I just want to shoot him. What? Okay, they're shooting at me. All right, now I got to shoot back. That's the rules. All right, that's the rules. Sorry, you guys shot first. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, there you go. You guys lost your lives. Wait, why did we shoot these guys for, for, for some reason? Thanks. What happened? Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Armed Knocked over robbery. a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Damn. Bad luck for them. Why? They're all yours now. 
We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. He knows? What? He had Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. Four years? He missed his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. Oh. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Whoa. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. Whoa. He got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. Willie? Do you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Damn. Thanks. You've been a big help. Whoa. You haven't done too badly yourself. Shit. So, uh, we're back at the police station. Maybe uh, the guys who are working homicide... He caught up with Mal. He's given us the dope on LeBlanc. He worked burglaries with a big guy. Goes by the name of Willie. Willie! He might be our killer. Can you work boxing gyms, the Y, promoters, that kind of stuff? Since when have you started giving orders, Phelps? And where's the burglary angle? There was no sign of a... That's where our net comes in. Oh. Next stop, we speak to Lacey about a list of recent burglaries. The guy's a bum. His office is a front, and he's behind on the rent and his phone bill. And he's skipping town tomorrow. Oh. Let's get him in and beat it out of him. Do you want to bring in the killer, Rusty? You can be <laughs> too smart for your own good, Phelps. We've been talking about that, haven't we, boy? <laughs> Stefan? What? Finbar? Damn. Sir, I need the contraband list. Item stolen over the last year. Hang Item on, I'll stolen. dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? So, oh, the cigarette case. Is that what we're looking for? Okay. The engagement ring too. Oh my God, the ring that he gave his his fiance was stolen. Uh, we are now at Everson's residence. Um, who, who, who? <laughs> I never know who we're visiting. I'm always confused on like on on on, on our leads. But LAPD, ma'am. It don't make sense. sense. LAPD. She is. Would you follow me, sir? Damn, she's got money. Look at her nice house. Hell yeah. Oh, it's old woman. I am Mrs. Evestrom. I am Mrs. Evestrom. You appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. They were stolen that from her. Terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Oh. Why would I mind, young man? If Why would you I? Yeah. Turning forty-three pieces of my property. Okay, before 43. we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. <laughs> Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? Damn. Sure, I'll have a drink too. Why the hell not, rich old lady? Uh, do we got to interview her? All right. So the stuff was stolen from her. Um. Okay. A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, let's just be nice to her. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. Okay. I returned home and all of my things were missing. I was out and they were missing. Okay. Can you describe to us what was yeah, stolen? Yeah, what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, Detective. <laughs> I'm so rich. A priceless tiara oh. that has been in the family for 50 years. 50 years? A Fabergé cigarette case that oh. was worth $25,000. $25,000. That's a lie, though, right? It was worth... Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry? 10000 who do you think you are? <laughs> Making heinous accusations in my own home. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I, I don't know for sure, but she did. But we do know that the cigarette case is valued at ten thousand. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. Whoa! I inflated its value for the insurance claim. <laughs> there, are you satisfied? Damn! What a lying bitch! daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. That's who stole it. He was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. Oh, that he stole it then. If he's disappointed. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. Damn. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. Okay. What else has been recovered? What else? Where's you my see, things? Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in. Hello, Mother. <laughs> oh, this is the go. Hello, Detective. Your boyfriend. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the it's same question. It's her mom. You have met my daughter? 
this morning at work. Oh, now it all oh, makes sense Mother and father now. divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen. Oh, uh, what did you find? You stole off A your sapphire mom. ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Oh. Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? Whoa. That's an outrageous allegation. That's an outrageous. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Damn, her boyfriend is is the one that's been stealing shit from from her, her mum. We are here at his apartment. Maybe there's more stolen things in his apartment. He was planning to to leave the country tomorrow. So let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see his apartment. Oh. Guys, he's in there. He's in his apartment. Uh oh. Why is this guy on the floor? What happened? Oh shit, there he is. Stop. LAPD. Call. This, guy's this guy's our case. Oh shit. All right, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Come on. Why do they always run? Why do they always run? Why is there a random piece of wood going between these two buildings? All right, don't look down, Cole. No, ah, Cole, Cole. Oh no, my hat fell down. Double, double, double. All right, go, go, go. Oh shit, he's waiting. <laughs> God damn it, Cole. You thought you would have been expecting that. But no. Uh, wait, he got away? Really? Wow. Oh. Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. What? I didn't even beat him up, though. How did I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. <laughs> you came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled wow. over. How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. What? What the hell's going on? All right. What? You missing something, uh, Henry? Yeah, you missing something? Oh, what's in the suitcase, Henry? Huh? A ticket to Mexico City? Huh? Where are you going? Tomorrow. Huh? You told Heather you're hunting oh. without her? Damn, did you tell her? Nice watch you got here, bro. Asherah Constantine. Oh. That's an extremely expensive watch. A stolen watch, watch in your suitcase? A graduation present for my parents. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. We know all about the jewelry ring. Yeah. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. Fashion business? You're lying. You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved? Uh, well, we know about the cigarette case. <laughs> what an idiot. He, he knows that he, uh, he's lying. Oh. Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case. Yeah, you case pawned it. For $600. A case that is on a list of stolen oh. items. It was Julia's. Julia? Get a list of society parties. Find out where and when and then have to guess what. Julia was desperate. She was money. desperate. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Whoa. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? Yeah. I, I wanted to stop. To, to get out of that life. I was going to marry Heather. She'd have it. Julia told the others that, that they were out. That she was going to create a, a new a game. gang. What the hell is this guy talking about, man? All right. You know he's just full of shit. He's just lying all the time. You're lying, Arnett. I think you ordered them yeah, to kill her. Yeah, he ordered them to kill her. It made it look like suicide. And when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time yeah. to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to why run? Why would I need to run? I don't know. If you don't need to run, then why did he buy a train ticket? Have you told Miss Swanson that you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow oh. night? That it's a oh. one-way ticket. Tell me it Damn, isn't Damn, he was going to leave. I had no choice. I wanted to marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. Whoa, he's telling me stuff to pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. What? What you are, Buster, is under he arrest. He just admitted the crime. He hired two people to kill her. What the hell? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell Damn, the truth. yeah, tell me the truth, bitch. There is no uh, Henderson. He's still lying. He's still lying. Tell me about your first burglary, and don't Damn. lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list. But I have a list of these things. I have literally the list of the stolen items right here. Boom. Your first burglary was a Dr. Harold Stoneman. You want to explain how he is involved in the show? Oh. Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about you. Okay. She could get him to do whatever she wished. He threw the parties and we arranged the burglaries. Julia never let him touch her. She just kept him hanging on the promise. Whoa. 
Bit of a good doctor, almost insane. The good doctor. So the doctor wanted... Henry Whoa. Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia. Wow. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict strikes. Whoa, so there's multiple people. We gotta find we so we got the guy that ordered the kill. Um and now we gotta get the bot the two people that actually did it as well. And even the doctor was involved too. Is the same doctor? Is it the same doctor? Damn. Hang on a moment, sister. Whoa, we're heading straight in. Tell him it's Henry Arnett. And tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Oh. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Yeah, bitch. Do it. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Whoa. Send him in. Send him in. <laughs> All right, well. I told you never to oh. come. Tell us the truth, doctor. Doctor was hiding shit. So glad you came. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> Prison will be better than insanity, what? and I'm already half insane with grief. Wow. What the hell, man? Do you know that I loved her? He loved the girl that died. I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Uh... Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? Yeah. They organized the robberies. Whoa. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Wh your wife's parties? Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. Wow. She. What a simp. Never really cared for ah. her. Ah. I'm afraid you're under arrest. Doctor's under arrest. Simp doctor, man. Poor guy. Well, actually, no, he's a loser. You'll call Dr. Gerard. Ger wow. No, 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 no. Please don't. <laughs> oh. She's like, my boss is getting arrested. I, no I don't have a job. My wife or my children nor my friends. And I don't want to lie. Wow. Lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. Wow. He's so ashamed that he just wants to be in jail. What have I done? Oh, no! Bro! Ah. Oh. Poor guy, so ashamed. He he just it was like, screw it, what have I done? Ah, uh, we should never have came here. Anyway, let me make a quick phone call right now. So, oh, we made it to Willie's apartment. We found out who Willie it was. Oh, in fact, we found that we found my Willie, guys. All right, that moment when you find your Willie, turns out he's around here he's somewhere. The guy. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. Get this. Ooh. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out. Of Whoa. Speed. So we know two guys killed the woman in the shower, and they think that uh, this big guy the killed his partner. Um, and now we got to kill this big guy. You hear the harmonica. He plays the harmonica. Where is he? Where is that sound coming from? Oh. Oh, there he is. It's Willie. He's playing his harmonica. Oh. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give your Damn. Oh, shit. Why did we say that? We should have just <laughs> did it more politely. All right. Let, okay, no, no. We can't shoot him. We can't shoot him. Where's he going? Why are they always run? Why is he running up the buildings? They always run up the buildings. Oh, my goodness. He ran all the way to the top floor. Hold oh. it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless you grew wings. <laughs> there oh. he is. Oh, no. We're going to shoot him? We have to shoot him. Come on, die. Oh, no. I'm, I'm messing up the side. Oh, shit. No. Oh, headshot. Oh, he fell. Son of a bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Damn. Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. Wow. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. Ugh. She really made an impression on me. Well, she's yeah, dead had now. that impact on a lot of men. Yeah, and now she's dead. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Yeah, we did. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. <laughs> Do you now? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. <laughs> okay, so we got our, all the guys, right? We got we all of them. Yeah, hell yeah. Case solved again. Hell yeah. Only some vehicle damage. That's why they gave me four stars. 
Julia Randall lived fast and died young, sending one man to jail and three to the morgue. Damn. Oh, so I think that mission that we just did was a DLC mission originally. But now we're finally seeing <laughs> what happened on that one night in Okinawa or wherever the hell they are. Keep shooting, men. Ah, oh, look at them. They were just gunning them down. Ah, oh, bro. Throw the grenade. Oh. Damn. Shoot back. What are you doing? Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, so many are dying. Oh, shit. They got the big cannon. Ah, oh, you got blown up, bitch. Damn. <laughs> Why is it so necessary to see this big shooting scene? <laughs> The whole company is gone. Oh. The major is dead. We're being overrun. We have to get off of this hill. That's one of our 50 cows. Still Damn. firing, Cole. The 22nd are still fighting. Whoa. We're all dying. We're losing too many men. Wait, did that guy just die right in front of me? <laughs> no way. He just died. <laughs> he was just in the middle of a conversation. And then he just died. Oh, shit. Damn. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank. Jack. Whoa. He was your friend too, Cole. Wow. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelsey. Whoa. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole. Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Wow. So I stayed there? Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, oh. sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. Wow. It's the beginning Everyone of the end. Everyone I knew it died. Right here. You're a goddamn hero, I'm not son. a hero. I What's just stayed name? in the dark. <laughs> I just Phelps. stayed in the hole so I wouldn't die. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star uh, and promoting you to First Lieutenant. That's how I got my award. It wasn't no bravery. It was me hiding in a hole. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. My whole army career has been based on a lie. Holy crap. Damn. Well, I still think Cole's a good guy regardless. So what? Earl, Bell. He had to do a what he had to do to survive. 111 Club. 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. So, Sounds like a homicide. Another person case. dead? Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Damn. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. <laughs> we already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. Whoa. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of we it. We didn't get all of it. The 111 Club. This is... Homicide guys uh, are So some inside. guys died and they, what, they overdosed? Uh, or were they murdered? Bukowski. Uh, oh, they were murdered. Phelps. But Back we again. found uh, morphine it, on them. Pumped a dozen rounds into it. Damn. Certainly sends a, a message. A big shootout happened. Okay, so that's what we're investigating? We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former, former Marine. Former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-common my old Whoa. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the uh. other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer... Uh. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? Oh, uh. we've met the rest of the band. Now there are no we piece. We met the rest of the band. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look uh. around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Damn. Oh, crazy. So it's all linked up. It's all... <laughs> that's crazy. Well maintained. They were Rest a saxophone player? Someone cared for this instrument. Or, a, or they, were, they were on the trumpet? I have no idea what the shit this even is. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Trick. Case must have cost more than the Damn, trumpet. look at this cool case. Damn, what are they? What do we got here? They were in... He kept his stash close They were ahead. injecting... Uh themselves with morphine all the trumpet players and that's why the rest of the band died we should follow up on the, oh, the jazz club that are oh, just like the other guys oh what's in this pocket oh it's morphine damn have a new source or is this coming from what's left in circulation damn where's this coming from yeah i thought we took care of that L look it's more stolen army things this is for cigarettes this time instead of morphine 
Whoa. And look, they have all these guns too. Damn. Is this... Are the guns from the army too? These look brand Whoa. new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased, degreased. yet. Degreased. We could check on the serial numbers. they were stolen. Is this guy hunting for... Yeah. Bear? Look at yeah, these they're things. stolen. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from yeah. the war. How did he three. get three? Yeah, hell yeah, it's stolen. Army surplus morphine, army surplus oh. weapons, army surplus balance. Yeah. Sound familiar? Look at this. We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from yeah, that ship. Yeah, come on, so much. A dozen packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple, couple months, supply. months supply worth of cigarettes. Wow. Ma'am, I'm Detective oh. Phelps, administrative vice squad. Yeah. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. All right. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today. Damn. All right, what can you tell me? All right. Tell us about yeah. Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a Ooh. nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the Damn. place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. <laughs> okay, that seems very honest. Where do you think he got the money? Ooh. My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to Oh, have. she knows he was doing illegal things. Any idea who did the shoot? Yeah, come on, you know something, no bitch. No idea. What? No it idea. It was my day off. <laughs> no idea. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Okay, all right. She has some sort of idea. I've got to doubt her. You want to level with me, miss? Yeah, come on, miss. Before taking an interest in you. Yeah. This place has been on the slide for years. Oh. Eddie turns up, buys the club. Then we start getting visits from tough guys. Tough guys? Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Holy crap. Are you getting the picture? I'm getting the picture, girl. Holy crap. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie you was in help. over his head, but he was a decent boss. Damn. No, he wasn't. He was a piece of shit. Next stop is the blue room. This is where the musicians played. Uh, so maybe they might know what the hell is going on with these guys. All right. These guys were taking morphine. So, oh, this woman is playing. I think Cole likes this woman. Like, he, look at her. Look at him. He gets... Take a break, Take a break yes. boys. We would like them to stay, Miss yeah. Lickman. Oh, We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Whoa. Since when have the police cared about dead black Whoa. men? Whoa. Good point. Oh. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. Bruh. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Biddleston and Bo? Their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Whoa. Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries? Understand, Flora? Huh? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, oh. Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Holy crap. He was going to hit her, just like he did last time. Remember when he hit her that one time? People are dying on, of overdoses. Girl. If you know anything about it, you tell need to me. tell me. I can't what? help you. <laughs> okay. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your Ooh. boys. Okay, we're going to be a bad cop, I think. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. Ooh. I can assure you he's a lot less. Yeah, he'll hit you again. You think your threats frighten you? Yeah, they should. Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? <laughs> He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies black man. Damn, buys. poor black man, honestly. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no I idea, have what, no you're idea what you're talking about. Okay, let's doubt her again. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give yeah, me an come answer. Come on, girl. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't. Yeah, <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> It means that he just wasn't oh. that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Damn, Boys, a lonely cat. Take five minutes, please. I need to have a private Yeah, come on, stop biting in our conversation, you stupid people. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them oh. jailed? The drugs are against the law. Yeah, Elsa. Elsa. You're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Oh. Do you think you'll win your war against Nagodic? It's not my war. It's against the oh. law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Yeah. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs to take? Uh, I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this the city. Drugs. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world oh. a better place. Brave words. Very yeah. noble. But Words are just Whoa, words. Whoa, words are just words. That's true. She's right. Yeah, she is right. Words are we words. Need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? 
Um, Do you know where to find him? This time of day? Oh. You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? What the hell do you mean, Cole? Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Partner. Partner? What do you mean? I thought we are in the middle of a case. What do you mean tomorrow morning? What are you doing, Cole? Cole? Uh, the blue room, 1034. Okay, Cole is by himself. And he seems to be uh, stalking this uh, Elsa person. Are we going to be tailing her? Why? Why? She got a taxi to where? Her home? Maybe? Uh, Cole? You're following her? You're doing a bit of stalking in your free time? Is this a is this a home? Is this is this a, is this her house? What what? Uh, Cole. Uh, what, what what are you doing? Uh, Cole. What's with the what's with the? Hmm. Should I really be doing this? <laughs> what about your wife and children, Cole? Cole, your wife and children at home waiting for you, Dada. Uh, to, what do you mean tomorrow morning? Wait for you to, to, to tomorrow morning. What do you mean, Cole? Uh, Cole, um, oh, what? She's like, come on in. <gasps> Guys, ah, oh, and he was following me. Ah, oh, bruh. Damn. Damn, he knows that I'm hooking up with this girl. That's why I said till tomorrow morning. Why couldn't we just do that just then? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Let's just pretend that last night didn't happen. And, uh, yeah, let's follow up our lead, which we should have done yesterday. LAPD, anyway. we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow yeah, me. Come on, all right. There, there might be trouble. There might not be. I'll open the door. LAPD. LAPD. We have some questions. Hi, Regardless. Mindy. How's it hanging? Fine. Oh, Just this fine, guy. Lord. We saw him earlier. I see brought Iga along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on yeah. me again. Cole Phelps. Put the shakes on Mickey him. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he is <laughs> Aren't you a little green for this kid? Damn. Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest <laughs> gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. <laughs> I can never quite remember. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy would be? <laughs> and how much fun it would be to get together with you. <laughs> Poor Johnny. He's the dark sensitive uh, type. He's a serviceman too, oh, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. Was? You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. How does everyone know who I I've am? Heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished yes, flirting? flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need yeah, my lawyer? Yeah, damn straight you need a lawyer. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He His had brother one third of the shipment. Old news, kid. Oh. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. That's bullshit. We gotta doubt him. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. <laughs> Lenny. God rest his soul, was a moron. <laughs> he was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. Wow. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. Damn. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. The, so you the, don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. Wow, he's not giving me anything, but, I, but I'm getting it right. I believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Cool Ridge. A group of Marines. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. Oh. I wouldn't know anything about that. Yes, you do. Come on. Look at these shifty eyes. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? Come on. What can I say, kid? What can I say? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. What? It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. Quickly. Okay. A few n saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. What? But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios I'll the bring other you day. Coffee. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always Damn. been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll, I'll get back to you. you <laughs> hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. <laughs> Come on, Cole. We're leaving. Damn, this guy's been running all the we drugs. Have to cut that dope. What? Looks bad with people dying. We Whoa. have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. Let them see the pipe of fright that easy. 
We'll see. Whoa, they're the guys running the whole business, but we we don't even have any evidence. Congrats, Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Whoa. Who's Brenda? Who's Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we Brenda? cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. <laughs> Jesus. We should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution, except uh -huh. when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? <laughs> he objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is uh -huh. everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. Interesting. You can bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Okay. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that, but that's something else that's going on. Uh, Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Cool Ridge? Caldwell and McManus. Oh. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. Yeah, what's happening with that case? All right, let's find out more info about it. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Cool Ridge? Yeah, yeah that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the oh. morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of We have smokes. that. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 oh. Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. He just so happened to be have it right under you. Okay. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the message? Yeah, oh, the serial time. number, maybe. maybe. Half a million cigarettes. Whoa, half a million LA. morphine was stolen. Some of these guys are from my old unit. Whoa. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. Oh. But Goldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. Oh. Goldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks Whoa. like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Okay, so the some of the Marines KGPL's were stuck. going crazy. What? Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. What? They want every car. <laughs> Go. Wait, why do, wait, what? Some guy's shooting a bus? Why do I, what's that to do anything about my, <laughs> my case right now? Okay, so they were saying that a bunch of the army guys uh, maybe stole or planned to steal all this stuff from the army uh, boat. Uh, I have no idea, guys, but I, I, I think we're going to find out who, who uh, like, what the hell happened on that boat. Can you drive to this one? Uh, in this episode, I hope. Okay, but let's go to this uh, bus shooting for some reason. It randomly popped up. <laughs> let's go shoot this guy that's shooting people. All right, there's a bus shooting. Sure. Um, that's my job. Why? Can't someone else do it? Come on now. <laughs> All right, this guy's going crazy. Uh, all right, yeah, trust Cole to do it. Guys, just aim your guns and shoot. Oh, officer down, officer down. All right, I'll show you how it's done. All right, it's easy, look, bam. Bam, bam, oh. Never, never mind, it, it looked easier than I thought. All right, cool, we made it underneath him. All right, let's climb up, let's go get him. Come on, quickly, quickly get him, let's get him. LAPD, drop the gun now. Don't make me shoot you, bitch. Ah! Oh my God, okay. We got him. Hell yeah. Anyway, why did we ran why did he randomly shoot this bus? And why is it my responsibility to take down the guy? Anyway. Um, maybe it's linked to my crime. Ah, oh, what a coincidence. Oh, let's look at his body. Maybe it might have some clues. Oh, look at look at the gun, guys. It's the stolen BARs. It's one of the Whoa. BARs. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, who is he? Oh, look at him. He's got an Phone number and restaurant Names. tables. And restaurant tables. Okay. Damn. Okay. So. That guy. Felix Alvaro. Oh. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. He was on the Looks ship. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Maybe they were trying to kill the driver? Hey, Alvaro. In broad daylight? What? Hey, Lieutenant. Oh. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. <laughs> Who's the jughead? <laughs> this is my partner, Who's the Roy jughead? We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. Bruh. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco oh. punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Damn. You hear anything about the big heist on the oh. Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard yeah. about it. So, so what, what happened? happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the okay. ship. Okay. Uh... 
I was down at the 111 Club this morning, down. waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the Damn. bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. He did. Too bad he didn't keep a low uh, profile. Bruh. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it uh, back home. Oh, yeah, I know, right? He made it back home from the war and then died here. Who's shooting him? Yeah, they were shooting him. How the f do How I do know? I know? Uh, well, we found the notebook. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Yeah, it Why was the Cohen guy that was having the Man, meal. I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Any of those gangsters. But what about the sniper had, uh, had your name? Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Yeah. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Whoa. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney, Courtney Sheldon? Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't Sheldon you, Sheldon was in the army. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. Wow. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. Damn. I mean, detective. <laughs> Damn. We're meeting all my army friends now. Jack Kelso we got to go to cool now. Customer. Jack Kelso was in the army too. Uh, so let's go to Kelso's apartment. Do you think Kelso, the person that I was in the army with... Is responsible for stealing some of the stuff? I have no idea, guys. I know that that. Hello, Jack. Oh. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like oh. a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown. With Damn. Me. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it yeah. at the station. Bad move, uh -oh. Cole. What do you mean, bad move? I'm a police officer. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. Damn. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk you. Damn, he still doesn't like me from the army. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, let's just give him a quick interview. Maybe he might know some shit. Um, I bet he won't be honest, though. Uh, that's the thing about Cole. You, you got to find out who, if he's lying or not. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? Oh. That has nothing to do with okay, me. Okay, but I think it does, though. All right, look at his face, though. He's, he's doing a lot of movement with his faces. Um. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a f Come on. You were on the boat, What Kelso. happened? What, what happened? happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in Damn, this town? Damn, I don't think so. Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Oh, shit. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? Oh. What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't Whoa. for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Okay, but all right. Look at look at his face again. Oh, look, he just did a big gulp. <laughs> People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Oh. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Damn. Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over. Yeah. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything for well, that. So what was the point of me answering that right? Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? Uh -huh. No, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, that's a uh, truthful answer. Straight face. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night. Damn. No, oh, he, didn't. he didn't know. You heard that a crate of BARs oh. were missing? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, he's being honest, I think. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're bus. next. In the middle of hell. Maybe you're going to be targeted to get killed. Are you tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah. yeah and what's in it for you, Cole? Wow. Newspapers. Newspapers. More I glory. Care. What? Another promotion. Another medal at the expense of men who fought for Whoa, their country. Oh, jealous. Count me out. Damn. Well, that was Jack, pointless. We just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? Whoa. You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this uh, shit here? Look at this chump <laughs> with this $200 suit and $2,000 car. <laughs> Bruh. The tough guy act is really impressive. Yeah. I like you, Jack. 
I'd like to make you for this. I really would. <laughs> I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting oh. Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Oh. Another name for the Another manifest? Another person that was in the army. He just got shot. Ah, oh, guys, something's going on right now. They, they are killing all the people. Damn, someone got shot. He just walked up and shot Damn. the man. Oh. Two of them officers. Just they went that what? way. I thought the shooting yeah, happened bro. ages ago. We just exactly. so happened to be here as they are leaving. How, how convenient was that? Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Hell yeah. Damn. I think that the the big mafia boss guy has hired people to kill all the people that were on the boat. Damn. But why though? Ah, uh, so this is uh, another one of these goons. Ah, oh, look at him. Oh, look. All the names and the people who, are di who died. An LAPD file. Oh. We have a traitor in our It midst. comes from the LAPD. Oh, Someone's a rat. Oh, what's in your notebook? Mickey's meeting. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Oh, Cohen. We need to arrest Cohen, man. Come on now. Oh, oh look what the gun that they were using. The stolen BARs yet again. Oh, the Chinese theater. Oh, I've been here. Yeah, it was hella cool. Uh, anyway, why are we here? Oh. Is this our guy? Okay, then. <laughs> Some guy just got gunned down. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, we just so happened to be in the area. <laughs> oh, shit. Get him, get him, get him. LAPD. No, I don't want to shoot you. Okay, I shot you. I'm sorry. Uh, Now, where are we? The Hollywood Post Office? Another shooting? <laughs> what is going on with this level? I'm just shooting bad guys. People are getting shot. I'm shooting people. All right, guns, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. What are they doing? Robbing a bank? What's going on? Or a post office. We're at a post office. Holy crap. Okay, guys. We've got to just keep shooting people. Come on. Die, die, die. Don't. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. I got him. Damn. Well, a lot more dead bodies. Uh, <laughs> Let's just... Uh, oh, this guy's still alive. What the hell? <laughs> Tell Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> oh, let me just play with your face. Bad, Bad luck. <coughs> what? Hey, don't cough on me. Who's worth a try? Man, he's, he's still alive, guys. Look. Damn, he just died right in front of me. Ah, oh, so many people died. Oh, I recognize this guy. They're all working for him. Shit. Oh, another meeting. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire. Sheldon. Team. Whoa. Meeting with Sheldon and Cohen. Man, we need to get both these guys, man. Oh, guys. We found multiple notes saying that there's going to be a meeting here at 9.15 with these two um, mob bosses. Oh, shit. All right. Let's kill these They've bastards. spotted us, and now they're already shooting at us. Great. More shooting. Guys, all right, come on now. I'm Cole Phelps. I was in the army. I now have to shoot really good. Oh, God. Stop, guys. Stop. Stop, please. I don't want to kill you. Oh, I got them all. Great. So, <laughs> I thought we were going to go to the meeting place to spy on them, APB not to shoot them all. Carl Evan King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Sheldon. Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. Damn. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. <laughs> Carl Evan King on route. <laughs> oh, we're back at the police station. So Sheldon was having a meeting. Roy, in my office, if you please. Roy? I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's going to have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. Whoa. But Cap, no buts. This is more important. More important. Damn. Okay. Sheldon. Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Whoa. He came down here to help, help me out. You? How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the cool ridge. You can't prove Whoa. that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor. Tudor mentor. mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student. A medical? He has a very bright future. Huh. That's nice, nice to know. know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Whoa. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement. But they're dead. But that's difficult, considering Damn. they're dead. That leaves you, yeah, Sheldon. Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me. <laughs> but we have a note saying... 
you're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you go prove that, Go after Jack? Cole? Nah, it's not, uh, Jack. Uh, okay, let's say the note, because the note says that there was supposed to be a meeting between Sheldon and Cohen, the guy that was eating the dinner, the, the mob boss. We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes yeah. on you guys. Cohen is hitting our old dude. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Okay. Isn't it, Isn't Doc? it? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth. <laughs> well, who is this guy that came with you? What is he, your dad? You were on the ship, yeah. Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. Oh. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Okay. But you could... Wait. He was involved, though. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your Where's proof? My proof? Well, uh, Beckett's confession. Um, tell Courtney bad luck. It was worth a try. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. Whoa. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Okay. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack Damn. does. Because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Wow. Jack is not in this. He's a good Kelso. guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. Oh. Is he going to tell me? What are you offering, <gasps> Cole? Oh. Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? What's my offer? Doctor. I good have to see you. I'm guy. conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended what? from duty pending a fitness review. What, what are you what? talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. Okay, then. Something must have happened. And now Cole is being told that he's, what, being fired or you demoted? You certainly full, detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. What did I do? You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. Suspended? And of your badge what did and I... drop. Don't keep him waiting. What did I do? What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Oh. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with oh. adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could it's you do a, it? Like against the law. Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope oh. fiend at that. You're lucky the war is oh. over. You'll be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Damn. Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until you're bored. Damn! Here. I forbid you to make any comments Damn. to the press. Damn! Oh, I'm just gonna get fired like that? What the hell were you thinking? Yeah, Cole. Damn, my wife and kids found out. I'm gonna get a divorce. They're gonna sue me for adultery. I'm gonna be thrown in jail because I, I was thinking with my ding dong and not with my head. Oh, Carl Phelps, we thought you were a good guy. We never knew anything about his wife. We saw her once at the beginning of the game, but we never even had a conversation with her. Shit, and now she here. Marie, listen, Marie, what? I need to explain. She threw me out. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. Come They're on, Marie. It was one time. Can't we at least talk? What is there Come to talk on. about? Don't sue me. Do you love her? I don't love her. Wait, do, do you? I? What were you what thinking? What were you thinking? Our children, can you imagine what this has been oh, like for them? Ah, poor kids. Go away, Ah, oh, but it's my house. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing Whoa, from Whoa, she threw me out. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've Damn. been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all Damn. morning. The press know? I can't stand it, Cole. Shit, bruh. I ruined everything. Cole, why would you do that? You're a married man with kids, and now some guy's taking pictures of me. Yes, yeah, right. shoot him. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
I could have shot him. Hey, Cole, what are you doing? Take your suitcase full of your crap, all right? What the hell? Where are you going to go? What, what? Your suitcase is right there. Take it. Okay, whatever. Where am I going to go? The only place I can go is, is to Elsa's place. Damn. But I thought me and Elsa were just a fling. I didn't know that we had a relationship. Damn, guys. So now we're finding out a little bit more about the kind of person Cole actually is. A cheater. A horny little bugger. Look at him. Going back to Elsa. Whoa. Uh, can I stay around? Oh, sleepover? Hell yeah. Damn. I've only got one place to go, and that's to Elsa. Shit, 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 shit. It is not looking good for Cole Phelps, guys. We did it. Got all the clues and the questions. Uh, we got five stars, but for some reason, we got demoted to arson desk. Damn. Arson is to do with fire crimes. Damn, guys. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end the video there because we've finished all the vice cases, all the cases to do with drugs and stuff. We have now been demoted to arson, which is, you know, crimes about... Uh, fire and stuff like that but yeah i'm pretty excited guys uh we won't have that many more episodes of la noir probably maybe two more one more doing some arson videos and then we're gonna do the la noir ending which i'm really excited for because i i kind of forgot what the ending was but i i remember it was being pretty good either way though i want to thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you want the series to finish off and continue thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me throughout the the series and i'll see you very soon in the next video see you later guys Bye-bye.